Hey John Morris here and in this video we're going to cover the array count values function. So what this array allows you what this function allows you to do is count the number of times a certain value occurs in a particular array. And in the end what it's going to return to you is it's going to return to you an array where the values of the analyzed array are the keys and the number of times that array shows up is the value. And in terms of parameters, it only takes one, which is the input array, the, the array that you're going to analyze. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. So you can see what we've done here is we've created two arrays. The first array, we just have some letters in it. And you'll notice that we have our A showing up twice and we have our B showing up twice. And the other values only show up once. And then we have a second array of numbers and we have our 1 showing up twice and our 5 showing up twice and the other values only showing up once. And so we're doing a array count values on both of those arrays and we're saving them as these two variables and then we're, we're uh, printing out those each one of these arrays, all four arrays, what they look like before and then what they look like after. Again, this is a custom function that I'm using to make the output a little better but essentially this is just a print R on all four of these arrays. So if we go ahead and we take a look at what this looks like and what it outputs this is what we get. So this is our first array that we created and again as you can see we have our values here, our A and our B showing up twice. In this one we have our 1 and our 5 showing up twice and then when we analyze this first array here what we get is we get the key of A which is the value and you see it shows us here that it, t it shows up twice. And then it tells us the B shows up twice, C once, and E once. So again, the value uh, that it, of the first array or the analyzed array becomes the key. And then how many times it shows up in this array becomes the value. Same thing down here. Again, we have our 1 showing up twice and our 5 showing up twice. And then our 3 and our 6 only showing up once. Now there's something that you want to pay attention to here. You'll notice that when it creates this array, what it does is it orders it by how many times a particular key, in this specific instance a key, shows up in our analyzed array. So it numbers it or it uh, orders it numerically uh, and descending and then after that it orders it by the key and alphabetically or numerically depending on what you're looking at here. Okay, so that, that's how it orders the analyzed array. So what this will allow you to do then is analyze a particular array. If you want to see how many times a certain value shows up in a particular array, this function will allow you to do that. That can come in handy when you work with database data and so on. So that is uh, the array count values function. Hopefully you found that helpful. I'll talk to you later.